Hello, y'all. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Y'all, come on in. Come on in. <clears throat> I am making guacamole. Holy moly. I got y'all guacamole. Yes, I know that was kind of corny, but hey, I'm in here in the B-Fit for You Culinary Lab doing it again. I'm making guacamole because it's a special request for a, a good friend, best friend's birthday party. So, I'm just coming to share this with y'all. Y'all get y'all pen, y'all paper, notebook, whatever y'all need. And let's make this together. You can make it, you know, it's very good. I know you'll enjoy it. It's only like four, it's only four ingredients that I use. Of course, got to have my fresh avocados. And uh, today, for time's sake, because uh, this request came in kind of late, I, I got some help with the, uh, with the pico part. But normally, I would uh, make this myself. If you join me on Thursday when I do my live event that I got scheduled August 6th at 6 o'clock, I will be showing you how to make it from scratch, scratch, okay? But for tonight's sake and for this moment, I got a little bit of help from H-E-B. Hashtag H-E-B. How y'all doing this evening? Y'all making anything good out there for dinner? Are y'all going to dinner having something good? I ain't going to be before y'all long. This is just something I love to do. And I was like, you know, this is one of those teachable moments. They say that at work all the time. So I figured, you know, we could have a teachable moment here tonight. Right here at B-Fit for you. And I got me some good old, nice avocados. I got a little trick that I do to get that seed up out of there. Out. Yeah. I just love making guacamole. And I keep the seeds, not all of them. I keep a, a few of them because that helps keep it from turning brown. I'm also going to be putting in lemon juice, the four ingredients I had enlisted on the live. But it's lemon, a splash of lemon juice. I have some sea salt. I already talked about my pico, and I got my fresh avocado, so it's going to be kind of quick. Do y'all ever make this? Anybody make this for the family, for friends? I love, love it. Yeah, I'm going to knock it out. Got big five of these large avocados, and I got them kind of Normally, I get them and I let them rest for a little bit before uh, I have them a couple of days. But I got these kind of ripe because we're going to be eating this tomorrow. If you come in the room, let me know. Just say, hey, I'm here. I'm in here. And I'm looking at the deliciousness. Come on. Come on in. Yeah. I want to thank all my new Followers that joined this week, thank you. Go ahead and share with your family, your friends, your co-workers, and your neighbors, too. I'll be making deliciousness over here. Yes, over here in the B-Fit Culinary Lab. Yeah, let me know you're here. Also, I still, I'm still taking recipes, so if you're new and there's something that you wanna, want me to try here on the live, go ahead and send me a message and messenger. And I will look at it and see if it's something that I could make here on the live, time sake wise. I like making new new things and sharing them. So I'm not a chef, but uh, in my mind I am, and in my heart I am. Years and years of making nice treats and eats with family, friends, jobs. Making things at the at, at the job for different potlucks. So these I did pretty good on picking these. Yes, I did really good. I can get all my avocado out. I don't leave none. No, see that one just popped up out of there. Good that seed did. I know how to pick them too, honey. <laughs> I know. I got it. Yes. I chopped some of them. Some of them I keep whole. I like a little bit chunk to it, but I'm y'all gonna see me do the smash down on it here in a little bit. It's gonna all come together. It's gonna all come together. 
We got two more. Of course, I went ahead and rinsed these before I came on live. Honey, I have to make sure all my fruit, I have to wash it, rinse it. <laughs> I do. All right, y'all. Get in there and scoop it out. All right. Yes. Kind of like to squeeze that. This one don't want to pop out. That's okay. We're going to work with it. We're going to work with it. Yep. Still got it. Still got it. <laughs> this going to come out of here one way or the other. I'm going to get it out of there. All right, y'all. Got one more. Had to get my little station here because y'all know I do not like my station to be, I have to keep it clean. Hold on, y'all. Give me a moment. It's getting kind of crowded on my board. It's getting kind of crowded. I don't like that. Hold that one moment. Let me give me a, let me give me a bag. Let me give me a bag to get rid of my, the ones I already, Scoops and made. Set that over there. My towel back. All right. Back on. We back on and popping. Yes, indeed. These are really soft. I got them really nice too. I did a good job. I did. I did this. All right, y'all. So that's the last one. If you're just joining, I am now going to put in. I had some. I had some help <laughs> by way of HEV <laughs> with this Pico for time's sake. I'm gonna go ahead and move this here. I'm gonna do a slight smash. On my avocados and get this kind of wiped down a little bit just a tad potato mash out but <laughs> you will get your arm work out they're not hard but I like it to be a little bit creamy a little bit with a little chunk when you're eating it on chips so just a tad you know I leave a little bit of a little bit of chunk in it I don't want it to be smoothie smoothie you know okay Kind of got it where I want it to be. And you can, when you're making this recipe, make it your own. If you like it smooth, you know, make it smooth. If you like it a little chunky with the little, then go right ahead. Recipes are to be made, you know, how you want them. Unless you're baking, then you got to really go by the recipe on when you're baking. Because if not, 
Then they're going to turn it out right. We tell you to put in certain things when you're baking. Just go in with the pico. Okay. See y'all, it's already coming together. Already. Yes, Lord. Where the magic happens. Yes, I'm going to go in with my sea salt here shortly and the lemon juice to top it off. Get it good. I'm going to sample it for you guys so y'all can see. I use the hot pico because y'all know I like it spicy. So I use the hot one with a little jalapeno slices uh, chopped up in it, the fresh jalapenos. Party, party, honey. <laughs> it's gonna be a party, party. Okay. Got that incorporated. Okay. All right. Sea salt. Mix it in. Yes, yeah, a teachable moment. You may make this already, but you might, you know, hey, if you got some tips that you want to give me. Go ahead. I like constructive constructive criticism. Or you may add something different that I don't add. But I'm telling you, hands down, <laughs> this is requested quite often. So I think, I'm pretty sure I got this down. <laughs> and now I just go in with my lemon juice. You can, you can use limes if you like. You can squeeze them if you like. I had them, but this was the last in, in that hour. So, delicious is made anyway, even when I got a Rachel Ray. Y'all know I lean on it. Let somebody else do the heavy lifting, the chopping, and the grating. But honey, I'm back on my cheese grater. If y'all didn't see my live the other night when I did the grating the cheese, y'all going out there and look at it. I'm so happy, honey. I'm, look, I love me some cheese. I used to always grade cheese with my grandmother. And uh, I got away from it. You know, life happens and, you know, we get we get lazy on doing things. But I knew I had to, I kept getting these little things telling me, you know, about the things that they coat shredded cheese with and it not being healthy. And one thing I do notice is um, the cheese that comes already grated, already shredded, it don't melt like that, that fresh cheese out there deadly. It don't, or that cheese block, it does not... It doesn't melt the same. And that's because of whatever that that uh is that they put on that um cheese when it comes in the package. They said they keep it, it's a ingredient that they put on it to keep it from clumping or sticking. And I'm pretty sure it's something that helps it uh maintain shelf life too. And I did read the name of it, but y'all, I read so much of trying to you know, educate myself. I don't want to tell y'all the wrong name and I'll be, you know, <laughs> y'all be fact checking me. But believe me, I do my research when I'm looking at things. And I did measure this out. I kind of been making this for a long time. Anybody, you know, y'all make a potato salad or you make tuna fish. After you make it so many times, you don't measure it. That first time or first couple of times you made it for the family cookout or to get together or potluck, 
eyeball game. <laughs> you just know. You just know. I may have to add a little bit of splash to this, but this is what I'm working with so far, y'all. Don't that look good? Ah. I'm going to put it in another bowl. This is my mixing bowl to get it, you know. I'm going to put it in a pretty, pretty bowl for the party tomorrow. But I got some chips. And I'm going to let y'all see me try it. Now, something about when I make this, because I, I've got all the seasons from the pico. It's hot. It's a spicy blend. And then I've used my sea salt. And I've used, yes it is. And I've used the lemon juice. I when I pair this, I pair this with unsalted um, chips. I don't need, you know, I don't need a whole lot of salt in my life, so I use the unsalted chips. Let me get a little sauce for you guys. I got to do a little sampling. Got my little chips right here. I am just going to put a little bit on this chip right here so y'all can see, honey. Mm, mm, mm. Look, even though this ain't no meal, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for those who are here on the live. Thank you, Lord, for those who come in on the replay. I just thank you, Lord. Let this snack serve as good nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. <laughs> All right, I don't want to eat over food, so let me turn my camera. I ain't going to do that. Y'all be like, she was on live, ate over the bowl and everything. Not today. <laughs> All right. Now I'm just watering too. My God. Mm, mm, mm. You don't need no more sea salt. You don't need no more lemon juice either. I'm all game. I've been making this guacamole probably now 15, 16 years. Now, when I first started, yeah, I followed to a little recipe, but now I make it my own. I put my own spin on it. Just like I encourage you guys when y'all make a new recipe or if you see something here that I make on Be Fit For You, honey, put your own spin on it. It's for you. Now, if you really know me, and most of y'all have been on here watching me, if it's good, I'm dancing in my head, I'm dancing in my chair, honey, good food, good eats, honey, I'll be dancing. I used to get in trouble growing up because at the dinner table, I wanted to sing, I wanted to shimmy, I wanted cause it to be good food, right? I was told, don't do that at the table. Honey, I'm grown now. <laughs> With my own table and chair. So guess what? I be dancing all the time. When it's good, it's good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Look, look, y'all. Got to get it off of there. <laughs> So good, so good. Eyeball game on point. But all right, you guys. I know it's Friday. You're hanging out with your loved ones, or you might just be chilling. I'm glad you came in on the live. I'm even glad if you came by on the replay. I'm going to get on out of here, put this in a bowl, pretty little bowl for tomorrow. But before I go, I want y'all to know I thank y'all for all my new followers. Continue to share. Continue to like my post. I appreciate it. I am Pam with Be Fit For You. I need all of y'all to be fit for you spiritually. Be fit for you emotionally. Be fit for you physically. And definitely be fit for you financially. I love you guys. Y'all have a blessed weekend. I'll see y'all later. Also, Thursday, before I go, Thursday I'm having an event. I'm doing something new on Facebook. So, if you can, I would appreciate and I would enjoy if you can join me on that live event. And just to get your, your mouth watering, 
I am going to be making jerk chicken tacos. Honey, yes, jerk chicken tacos. Got my seasonings today. So I'm gonna be making jerk, jerk, chick, jerk chicken tacos. I'm gonna air fry it, air fry the chicken. And I'm also gonna be having, I'm gonna make some guacamole. Then y'all will see me be able to make it, the guac, the uh, pico from scratch. So I want y'all to tune in. That's Thursday the, the 4th at 6.30. The live event is posted on Be Fit For You's um, page. See y'all there. Love y'all. Good night.